Coming up on this week's episode, Neoff, it is all about Italian American future. iItaly reports the National Italian American Foundation's 41st anniversary weekend in Washington, D.C. Enjoy the first part of our reportage full of surprises, interviews, and news. Get ready for the kickoff, the gala, and the after party. And stay tuned for more. Ladies and gentlemen, take your seats. Our program is about to begin. doing tonight? Now, that you have to be very enthusiastic. You're Italian-American, among the greatest people on planet Earth. How's everybody doing tonight? Come on. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. The National Italian American Foundation Gala every year. This is our 41st year. It's such an opportunity for Italians and Italian Americans from all over the country and from Italy to come together and we celebrate each other. And most importantly, what we're doing here tonight though too, because of the money that we raise, is we're gonna highlight the scholarships and the grants and the programs that really are at the basis of the foundation. NIAF is so important for the future because in this very confusing world, when you connect to your Italian heritage, it gives you a secret connection to your spiritual power, your professional power, your emotional power, and your personal power. This is a very exciting weekend uh, to be celebrating our uh, Italian-American uh, heritage. And uh, we had a full weekend uh, of uh, programs, of cultural, of educational programs. And uh, it's just uh, great to be here this weekend. Uh. This is indeed my first time attending my new capacity of Ambassador of Italy, this great event of the annual gala of the National Italian American Foundation. But as some of you know, uh, I have a special connections to NIAF, and I will never forget that on my very first day as ambassador, immediately after having the great honor and privilege to present my credentials to President Obama, I attended a great event celebrating the importance of the Italian legacy and participation to the White House. So, NIAF is my companion in this great journey. Well, I think NIAF is, uh, is one of the best expression of the, of the bonds between the Italian-American community, the Italians and the Americans and the United States in general. The, the gala of tonight, uh, you, you can look around, is a powerful display of what, uh, of what that means. Uh, I think that uh, I couldn't Im imagine a better image than this one. Family, friendship and togetherness 
and a reminder to our young where we came from, what we had to go through to get here, and to keep the tradition alive. We're promoting young people uh, not only to come to Niev, but we're doing exchange programs between Italy and the United States, and it's going fantastic because the baggage that they take with them, a, uh, it's, it's very valid, and at the same time, it's very helpful. I think that it's important for young uh, Italian Americans and Americans in general to really understand how much of the contribution, the early thought of our founding fathers of the United States were drawn from Italian philosophers and from Italian jurists. It really is the foundation of this country and that's an important reminder. What the Italians have brought to, uh, to our culture is uh, tradition and family and, um, and loving one another, and it's all of those things that are so important. And whenever I'm on stage and I'm singing some of my father's songs or my own, I feel the community. I feel um, a love. Everybody loved Dean Martin, and, uh, and so I'm carrying that on. The Italian-American community, NIAF in particular, is now reaching out to all young Italian-Americans to join and carry forward our tradition. Uh, now the senior members are starting to realize we have to get the young people involved as soon as possible. And we are really making a significant effort to recruit new young people on our board and in our activities. I think it's going to be a success. I see so many young people here. Uh, I'm on my way out <laughs> and uh, this is, feels like my last hurrah, but I look forward to many, many uh, young Italian-American women coming up and, and supporting them. I've never faced an audience this size and um, it's a little frightening and overwhelming. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> but I, I feel that I'm pleased with the honor that our organization is receiving through NEF and delighted to be doing this. Our organization's history began in 1980 when I approached Congresswoman Geraldine Ferraro and I asked her if she knew of any women's groups for Italian-American women. She said, no, there are only groups for men and women where the men make the speeches and the women make the coffee. Her next statement was even more stunning. Why don't you start one, she said. Musica, arte, cucina, cultura, scienza, italiani, uh, Italy, Italo Americani, uh, per me er, uh, numero uno in tutto il mondo, because they brought everything that's great to the world. The Italians, every form of life, you think about it, comes from the Italian culture. And then we come here to the great country of America, America, and we try to live up and keep up the heritage and legacy that the Italians started. You can't forget your heritage. The heritage is the most important thing at all. It's what made a, this country in America, what makes it great is the ethnicity. The foundation of the United States is its ethnicity and all the different heritages that come here. And for me, the Italian is the best heritage of all. Calvali family! Yes, two generations. We have two generations qui. It's eh, sono quasi 30 anni che stiamo venendo, eh, no, più di 30 anni che veniamo alla NIAF, a questa gala. It's my first experience at NIAF, my first experience moderating a panel, my first experience hanging out at a gala. It's fantastic. It's amazing. I couldn't be happier to be here. This year and last year, there's such a younger group of Italian Americans coming, and that's what's so important because we have to keep this going. And it's up to us to uh, bring in, to reach out for the younger, uh, younger audience, younger people to come in and keep those traditions, as I say. But John Viola is absolutely spectacular.
I think NIAF is a very important organization because it's trying to tie together the cultural connections within Italian culture itself and within the Italian population itself and the Italian community itself. And so with that and with that connections and with that understanding can come an understanding even greater than from one's own culture to others. We're very, very proud of NIAP. Uh, I think it's an amazing organization, foundation, that builds bridges to Italy while celebrating our Italian-American heritage and the land of our ancestry. And as you can see by the program tonight, it's been so successful in honoring companies from Italy that have expanded and have not only made great products and services, but also have a social construct and an obligation to have ethical and, and uh, moral business practices, and that's what we're most proud of. And I've said many times, you could be uniquely American and uniquely Italian as well. So I think NIAF has grown so much. Every year the programs get better. We celebrate wonderful people and companies that have made such an amazing impact in the world. So we're very proud, but also very grateful. Tell me when will you be mine? Tell me cuando, cuando, cuando We can share the love divine Oh my love, please tell me when The honorees that are with us tonight represent seven inspiring versions of the Italian-American story and we want to make sure the tale is given the utmost respect and attention so we ask you to please join us as we welcome them to the stage. Tonight, our efforts, not just to be together to celebrate these amazing Italian-American achievements, but also to provide you with the opportunity to enjoy and relish our amazing culture. Italian-American people is very important for Lavazza. Oh, they are. Uh, they were at the beginning the basis of our uh, market, the foundation of our subsidiary in the U.S. Now, by chance, uh, the business has been uh, grow quite a lot, but it Italian core uh, community of consumer is still relevant and important because they give a lot of value and a lot of boost to our activity. Uh, Italian food and Italian food uh, lifestyle in this country is keeping more and more. I mean, it's growing quite a lot. It's a real sign of distinction and taste. And coffee is part of this great trend, great boost, excitement, buzz. So, uh, I think we are on the right way. There's clearly a great uh, legacy of filmmaking in Italy where we Italian-Americans have come from. and. You know, it's one of the fields here in the United States where Italian Americans have been able to make a mark and, and, and uh, sort of create some of our most interesting film work. So for my brother and I to be able to participate in that tradition, it's re very special for us. Uh, one of our earliest movies we ever made was a remake of a Mario Monticelli movie called, in the United States we call it Big Deal on Madonna Street. In Italy it's known as I Soliti Ignoti. And, um, so that movie was very special to us, so much so that we wanted to remake an American version of it. But we love, you know, all the great Italian directors have been very important to us. My brother is uh, one of my best friends. Uh, we grew up sharing the same experiences. We have the same taste in film. Uh, we've been doing it so long together now that it's like second nature to us. And it's a very difficult business, so it's good to have someone else that you can uh, support you and rely on. It's a difficult business, but it is how is important the, the, the Italian part of you, your business? It's incredibly important. I think it informs the way that we choose projects. We treat our crew like our family. Uh, it's as important who we're working with. 
as what we're working on. Uh, and I think that comes from our, our notion of family and growing up Italian American. After four in incredibly fabulous years, it saddened us to say goodbye to NIAF's chairman, Joseph Tarasso. It's, uh... Really an honor to have been associated with the foundation all these years. How many red carpet? How many galas? Really? 33. 33. Since 1983, I've been attending. I joined the board in 1988. And how you feel this year? I feel great. I feel great. You realize what an impact that this organization has had, not only in the Italian-American community, but on America. Uh, if you think about uh, some of the galas of the past uh, personalities, uh, all one year we had all the presidential candidates and vice presidential candidates. The year we honored Frank Sinatra, in, uh, and, was, and we were joined by the Reagans. Uh, there were so many memories that uh, were, you know, um, really impactful. We have to look forward. You know, one of the things that we as Italians, we're nostalgic, and, and, we, and I think it's important we remember the sacrifices of our, our grandparents, our great-grandparents, our parents, but we have to focus on the future. We, and I believe the appropriate focus on the future is the importance of the relationship between the United States and Italy. We're a post-assimilated ethnic group, and I think now it's important as, a, as American leaders that you know, we use our relationship with Italy to help um, you know, make things better around the world. I just want to ask you guys a few questions about what it means to you as young Italians to be here at the NIAF Gala. It's a fantastic experience. Uh, it, it really shows the values that it means to be an Italian, family and pride, great culture, great food, great experience. It's my first time here and I'm um, very happy to be here. No, that's, that's great. And how about you? Did you grow up in an Italian-American family? I did. This is a very exciting time for me to be here because my family's from Avellino and Torino. So my grandma, she's super excited. I've been sending her pictures of the food and the whole experience. So I know that this is really important for me and my family. I'm so excited. I am surrounded by some amazing people from our community here. It's wonderful to celebrate all of our accomplishments and think forward to how we can contribute to our community going forward. And growing up, did you have a lot of Italian-American experiences and Italian influence in your life? So much. So my mother was born in Sicily. Um, my father's parents are from Calabria, so I was raised very Italian. Um, and we have wonderful traditions um, growing up uh, for Christmas. We do the Seven Fishes dinner, so I'm looking forward to that actually coming up in a couple months. <laughs> in my Italian-American household, uh, we had a lot of uh, kind of traditional Italian customs. Um, one around Christmas time being the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Um, that's we had members from both sides of my family, whether uh, you know grandparents, aunts, aunts and uncles, um, come and you know cook all the food, and it's just a big feast. And it's great to have family. Family is a huge part of the, my Italian culture, and I think it's as well for everybody else. I had the privilege of being being able to go on the Voyage of Discovery trip to Torino this past uh, June. Um, it was right after I graduated college and it was a great experience to be able to open my eyes to my Italian culture, my Italian roots. I was a part of the Voyage of Discovery 2015 program and before that um, I didn't really know much about my Italian culture but here I learned how to do the tarantella, we learned how to cook different types of pasta. It just is a great way for me to get in touch with my culture and I think it's very important. I'm a junior at Dartmouth College and I actually just recently became a member here at NIAF. Uh, it's been an absolute honor being here, uh, hearing about all these wonderful stories, listening to um, all these wonderful people talk about uh, encouraging people to be more involved with the Italian community here uh, in Washington and in the U.S. And uh, at Dartmouth, I just recently founded uh, an Italian radio station to encourage people 
to learn more about Italian culture and the Italian language. Last year I was lucky enough to attend the Voyage of Discovery, which is an absolutely free trip that NIAF sponsors to Italy for two weeks. I felt so lucky that I stayed involved with the organization and then I ended up um, becoming a scholarship recipient, which was such a blessing to my life and now I feel that um, I should be giving back to NIAF in any way possible because they have given so much to me and I'm just, you know, grateful forever. We are at the after party of the NIAF Gala and it's the time to celebrate and just be safe in the beauty of our heritage. I think, that, I think this is one of the best ones we've ever had. I think the, a lot of the consensus from the audience was, it was one of the best ones we've ever had. We had Tony Rennes. He has not sang in public in 30 years. He sang Cuando, Cuando, Cuando. It was like a, a moment in history. We had the Russo brothers, Franco Harris, Stefano Piscina. The list goes on and on. It was a beautiful night. I met the fellows that we've had with iItaly. They were all incredibly young, intelligent Italian-Americans, brilliant kids. I'm looking forward to seeing what they are producing, but they are passionate. And they all came up to me and said, thank you, I love working at iItaly. So this is really good. We've got a great future with these kids. The future, well, we're hopeful that next year we, we will be able to announce our new region of honor very soon. I, I don't want to say yet, but I think it's a really good one. I think it's a really special region. It's special and dear to my heart. And hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be able to announce it. And uh, next year's gala, November 3rd and 4th, the whole weekend, it's going to be a really special weekend. Say it's me that you would Oh my love, please tell me when Oh my love, please tell me when Oh my love, please tell me when Tell me when. When? Thank you.